and uh, we had the same kind of thing in Surrey last week uh, at Holland Park. And uh, thank you very much for everybody joining here. And we, we feel glad you're coming here. On uh, behalf of all the people of India, all the oppressed people of the world, for which the democratic right activists like Dr. Sai Baba uh, were working, are working, and they are penalized, they are tortured because of raising the voice. So their voices are choked by the claw of the Indian government, Indian state, and the international imperialist uh, powers together. So Dr. Sai Baba wrote a letter from the jail on 13th of June, uh, where, by which he said that the medicines he requires just to survive day-to-day -day basis are not being provided to him and even if they are, they are not provided, they are provided without any care, without any supervision of a medical professional. They, they haven't provided him with a comfortable uh, western kind of a toilet, so he's handicapped below waist, so he, three people have to hold him when he go to the toilet. So these kind of things, in human conditions, he's being uh, provided there. And for what? Because he raised his voices for all those tribal people, 12 million of them live in the Dandakarnia area where all the mining companies of the world, they are going there to extract those resources from those people and to make their profits. And those people have lived on those lands through the forests naturally for last tens of thousands of years. And people like Sai Baba, they raise voices for those people and they are penalized for that. So we say, down with Indian government, and long live people's solidarity. Woo! Long live people's solidarity.